So you get a huge number of people turning up to your events. Yeah. So when you run events, I mean, when you first started putting on the events and the larger events, they just became huge, the biggest yeah. in the industry. Why do you think you get so many people turning up at those? When my business blew up was when I did my viral financial freedom challenge. Which you featured yeah, in, yeah, brother. Yeah. <laughs> accidentally featured in. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to be on. No, accidentally featured <laughs> in. Um, but that was where, where I think it blew up because it's really easy, isn't it, to talk about you can get into property with no money. It's really easy to talk about you can control property. You can do this. You can. And a lot of people that even do YouTube videos about lease option agreements, I'm watching the video, right, and I'm like, they've never done one. I can tell. Because they're of the way they're talking. They're teaching theory. Yeah. Theory, yeah, yeah. right? Or they went on a class yeah. and they're just regurgitating the same old stuff. And I'm thinking that they've never done it. Because lease option agreements, you can tell when someone's talking about lease options, when they've done it and when they haven't. You can tell when people have done it. And I think, um, you know, there's a lot of talk online about how to do this, how to do that. But when I did my financial freedom challenge and actually showed people me doing it for real, yeah, I think that inspired people. It blew up on the internet, and as a result, people wanted to come and meet me and wanted to come and learn, and that was that was really the uh, the thing that opened the floodgates and made me well known. So, with all the people that come to the events, do you think everyone can be successful? Do you think everybody can succeed in property that's interested in property? Yeah, it's it's a really interesting question that you ask. The way I see it is, can everybody do it, or will everybody do it? Mm. Is two very different things. Can everybody run a marathon? Well, with the right training, mm -hmm. the right time scales, probably. I mean, you might say, oh, well, if they had a, had, had a missing leg, they couldn't. Although when I, I did a half marathon and I was seeing people overtake me yeah. that literally had like wooden legs and stuff. So, But does everybody have that determination? Though? No, they don't. So not everybody, no, of course not everybody will be. Not everyone's meant to be. Not everyone's meant to be a property entrepreneur investor. It's a very stressful, high pressure life. It, it, I completely agree with you. It's not easy. No. It, it's it, The processes are simple. Like lease option stuff, yeah, we agree a deal, we pay you later, we'll take control of it now. Fantastic. Uh, so the, the concept's simple, yeah. but actually the execution oh. is not so easy. It's stress, man. And there's a lot of challenges. Yeah, absolutely. No, I mean, what, what I wouldn't want to say is I wouldn't want to say s some people are just born entrepreneurs and some yeah. people can just do it and some people just can't because everybody, when they start out, is rubbish. Yes. When I started out, when I was 17, I remember practicing a script, walked into an estate agency and I was like, oh, I got my script, I got my script and my mouth dried up. Yeah. Now, if someone had said to me, well, there's born winners and there's born losers. At that point, I would have thought, well, I'm a born loser. Yeah. I can't do this. But actually, I continued and persisted and now I've become successful. So, you know, I would like to encourage people generally. And if people are starting out and say, yes, you can do this. Of course, we know that not everyone's going to, some people yeah. are going to quit. Not everyone's meant to. Yeah. But I do think that being in property is stressful. It's high pressure. Making lots of money comes with responsibilities and challenges and problems. Absolutely. But everything's hard. I've just lost a bit of weight, right? I'm still, I'm still a bit. Yeah, I noticed that straight away when I saw you. I but you know what I realised? lost weight. It's hard being slim, but it's also hard being fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's hard being single and it's hard being married. Mm. And I think in the same way, it's hard being a successful property investor and winning and making lots of money, but it's also hard having a job. Both things are going to take effort. It's where you're going to focus that effort. Exactly, yeah. So do you think the environment uh, that somebody is grown up in uh, uh, and their their experiences, their background can impact their success? Or do you think that that can be parked to the side? No, I think it can. And that's another interesting question. Like, tough times create tough people so me when i grew up my dad was quite hard on me mm -hmm. my parents never gave me any handouts they split up when i was seven i had a bad time at school but all of that hardship probably helped towards me being successful yeah. now i've got a young boy luke who's four years old and i'm thinking has he got it too easy because mm. if i give him everything on a plate is yeah. he just going to be a big softy and he's not going to be successful so it's a really interesting one yeah, uh, you can create a very comfortable environment yeah. Because you want to give them everything. Yeah. But actually, are you setting them up for more challenges yeah. in later in life? What I tell people when they come to me and they want to get into property is I just say, look, it's not about where you are. It's about where you're going. Yeah. It's about your vision and your determination and, and where you're going because everyone's from different backgrounds. Some have had it hard. Some have had it easy. Some have got money. Some have not. I can only take people where they're at. And as a trainer, it's just about giving people 
um, a sense of confidence in themselves and say, yes. look, you can do this. But of course, no, not everybody. You know, if we've got 100 people on the course, yeah. they're not all going to succeed. Some yeah. are going to succeed. Some are going to. Some are going to fail.